Hey, Cancer. Third house, Gemini and Moon. You can be talking to another Cancer, a Leo, a Gemini. Okay. Someone wants to talk about their feelings or you need to, but someone's uh, straddling the fence or... They're straddling of the fence here. Should I say it? Should I not say it? How do I feel even? Will I feel this way tomorrow? Yeah, that's a question. Who's coming in? Virgo, fourth house. Gemin Gemini again, I'm saying. that That's Jupiter, not Gemini. Okay. I'm hearing padlock. So you're locking up your home where this person is. Who's coming in? There's an inner orbit and an outer orbit in this energy. This person appears to be focused on inner orbit. So like the closer energies around them. I don't know where you are in this actually. Maybe you don't know where you are in this. Who's the person coming in? Liquid Courage. Bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. So person is acting stank. I'm just kidding. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> what's this person's energy? Maybe they are. I don't know. Ghosted. Yeah, okay. So they're padlocked up and away. Disappear, silence, ignored and rejected. Someone's acting strange to just disappear off the face of the earth. You're like, where the hell did you go? Where well, they're hiding. They're hiding in their inner orbit or they're focused on what's directly in front of them. That's who this is today. This could be a Virgo. We have a lot of Virgo energy. Maybe they moved or they went somewhere else or they're like sheltered very strongly. They're only talking to certain people and that's not a lot of people. Maybe less than five people this person is talking to, if anybody at all. So here they are with concealed disguise lying in hidden motive. Yeah, this person's getting the courage to like... Well, yeah, act stank or get out. Where's where's cancer in the energy? Unexpected, see? Because you're like, where'd this come from? Why are you acting like that? You're weird. Someone's acting strange. All of a sudden, they're out here acting weird. Surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. All right, what's this? What's this? Right. Text message, communication news, phone call, direct message. It's like they're going to tell you something, and you're like, What? I had no idea. Or where is this coming from? You're acting really weird, okay? Lonely. Alone. Isolation. Lonely and guarded. This person looks really suspicious. Someone's giving you like this suspicious look, but actually they're trying to get laid or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Side note on that. Maybe you're sitting at the bar. I don't know. Okay, what's going on between Cancer and the person in the reading? Okay, that was the crossroads that just popped up. There's a choice about a truth. Yeah, what is this truth? Hook up. Right. Yeah, someone's trying to get laid. They're, all right, anyway. Relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, and girlfriend. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, and fling. Let's see what's going on. Scorpio, fourth house. Yeah, this person's like suddenly breaking up or suddenly telling you something and running away. Suddenly change their home or change their underwear. That's an interesting energy. Okay. But you're, you're like, why are you acting so weird? Yeah, why are they? Who's this in Cancer's reading? This ghosted. This ghost is a hangman. Pisces? Virgo. Oh, I see how this works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. That's how they're saying. King of Swords. This person is listening to you. They're listening in on things that you're saying. Or they're piecing together little pieces of information. And, and like weaving this whole web or this picture. So this person could be like listening to you when you don't know that they're listening to you or they hear your thoughts. Mm. 
Where's Cancer in this? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Why is Cancer in the Four of Pentacles? The Sun. So you're holding on to this Leo or this Capricorn, Taurus. There's Earth energy here. You're holding on to somebody for dear life. Or they are toward you. But you also see this magician. Okay, so Leo had this. You might have Leo placements, actually. Or your Leo house is popping off. I know what I know, okay? Someone, there's like vegetables here or sweet potatoes or something as well. That could be a message for somebody. But... Hmm. What are you understanding or saying? You're you're gonna reveal some what is being revealed here with that truth energy? I was like, oh, I'm gonna let it fly. Okay. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this does look like Leo's reading. Someone got arrested or is getting arrested, or there's truth about someone. There's, so maybe you're dealing with a police officer, you're dealing with the law, you're dealing with the legalities. Someone's in trouble. Someone's petitioning authorities. Could be. You need to move forward is what you're saying. You found a way forward. You found a path forward because you felt very ensnared or trapped. So I feel like you're freeing yourself. This new idea that's coming in, you're going to speak on it and it's going to help you move forward. This person's like, oh, I see, I see. Or I knew that you were going to say that because they're and somehow they can read your mind. How does this person see cancer? Okay, you're uninhibited. Yeah, the moon. There's, um, again, you're freeing yourself here from maybe like a, like you were restricted and now you're not restricted anymore. You're freeing yourself so that you could do what you want when you want. This person is seeing that you're kind of going buck wild or you're acting on some type of Maybe frustration, you're acting on something that you deem as an outlet, okay? You could be excited to talk to someone or date someone or... What is this truth energy right here? Four of Wands. There's a truth about your family, about this Taurus. Oh, damn. Capricorn Leo. Something is not what it seems. So you're going to realize that whatever you're committed to, be it this relationship, this business, this institution, it's twisted, it's warped, it's corrupt. There's corruption here and you've realized it and you want to talk about that. And I see that you want to free yourself so you can experience life at this point, or you're like in a commitment that you don't want to be in, that you feel very restricted in because you feel like this person doesn't let you live your life or you can't breathe, or this institution doesn't allow you to go out and live your life the way that you want to. You feel like you're always uh, like walking on eggshells or you keep like holding back and you don't feel happy anymore. Like you just want to be free or you want to let your hair down. You want to be able to do what you want when you want Something is highly corrupt here. You're not happy about that. It's like, why did I sign up for this? Why am I a part of this crew, this group? Okay. Um, I'm always defending myself or this person makes me walk on eggshells or um, someone is highly dependent on the other person, maybe financially or health-wise here. And that pisses you off or it's irritating or someone expects you to do certain things that pisses you off. Okay, like you have to keep paying money to this institution to be involved or this is your relationship, your marriage or something. Like you have to take responsibility for this home. And someone cannot get their hands dirty or someone will not let their hands get dirty. 
you can't say anything to them because they're not going to do it or they're not going to help or they're going to get pissed and they're going to fight you or they're going to be offended. Okay. But then at the end of the day, they don't give you any comfort or any love or something like that. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you're doing, you're not getting a return on investment or that's how you're seeing this, this investment that you made. Okay. So why does this person see cancer like this right here? Two of cups. You're looking for connection. They're very, they see that you're looking for connection. You're looking to be understood. You're looking to be excited. Maybe you want to try new things. You want to get out. You want to, yeah, you want to mingle with new friends or new groups of people. Or you're starting new hobbies or something is different about you that this person sees you doing. Maybe this is somebody in that group that's watching you. They could be attracted. How does cancer see the hangman? Ten of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this is the person. They what? This is the person that ghosted, but they watch you, or they listen to you, or I don't understand. It's like, okay, someone is not there, but they're there still, or they're still available to you somehow. Like this could be a group setting where somebody doesn't want to talk to you, but they're still like looming in the energy or hmm, like someone shunning you. They won't talk to you. You won't talk to them because like you're trying to heal. You don't want to give to this person. You just want to be free of an expectation or something. Why does cancer see this person like this? It's like, oh, you got some nerve, don't you? It's like that. It's a Taurus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces. Who the heck is this? One second. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, it's a water sign. I don't know. This person is like sending you subliminal messages or... You're talking to this person at a distance, at a, at, at a far, at a far, from afar. But they keep talking about the same thing or they're harping on the same thing over and over or it's the same type of predictable conversation with this person. All right. What is this hookup energy? Okay. So you're trying to decide what you want. You're learning about your needs and your desires here, but you're afraid to act on it or someone is. Okay, there could be a Taurus or a Gemini causing a little bit of concern or issue. You look like you... You did something uh, that you may regret, okay? Could be about... Um, inappropriate or you did something... Or this Taurus did. I don't know. They did something in haste and it was not good. And now they're embarrassed. Okay. Whoever this is. Is looking at your pockets. Or your how much money your family has or something. Or that's why they stay because otherwise they don't have anything, but you're not even talking to them. Wh why is this person in liquid courage over here? Queen of Cups. Lesbians? Someone's calling someone gay or telling them they're lesbians or... Oh my gosh.
or this person is? They want to be gay with you or... What? What's this right here? Empress. Yeah, it's like three three feminine energies or two feminine energies and they're like talking or they're gossiping or they're talking about the relationships, how they live, what they like. Someone is trying to seduce another person of the same sex could be or you're going to hear about this. This person could be talking about a feminine energy if, if they're not like same sex oriented. This could be someone just talking about this person, talking about what they did, what they said, all these things that happen. Yeah, that okay, so five of swords. See, because somebody's confused. It's like, I don't know who did what, who said what. So this person is trying to figure out who's saying what. Or like, did you really say or do that? This is a bunch of feminine energies. Or it's like lesbians fighting, or it's like sisters fighting. Could be... Okay. Damn, someone's someone's like a hater, or jealous. Um this person sees that or they're involved in it, but it's like they're realizing that. That's what I'm saying, like this person is realizing some type of weird behavior. Huh. about someone around them, it's almost like, let's say for example, that somebody starts crap with them, but they actually have a crush on them or something, or they just really like them as a person, but they're hating on them because it reflects bad on themselves. Something like that is going on. And again, I feel like you're going to hear from like maybe a friend and they're gay now or something like that. Okay. Who cares? Let me see about this ghosted. But that's what I'm saying. This person, why? Okay. So this Scorpio is ghosted or this water sign, this Pisces, this Cancer is ghosted. Okay. I don't know why this person's in your reading. It's like they're an informant or they're seeing things and they're tapped into something. They're talking about someone being gay or they're calling out someone here, actually what they like or what they're into. I don't know. Maybe about, you know, I saw that person. In the hookup energy. Okay. That's why you're like, what's going on? Like, where's this information coming from? This unexpected. What does... <laughs> This reading. So you're fighting with your sister or your sisters are fighting or something like that. It's a bunch of women fighting or... Oh, no. All right. <laughs> it could be a group setting, too. Okay, what does this person want with cancer? Okay, this per like I said, this person doesn't want anything, but they're sitting here thinking they're very calculated. So I don't know what's up here, but they're thinking about, well, I've been in it this long. So let me try to figure out, you know, my next moves. We have a uh, Taurus. This could be a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, or someone earth sign energy. They are thinking about their next moves very, very carefully. They don't know what to do or say, but it's like they're planning for what makes the most sense, maybe financially or uh, practically, like keeping up the same thing or keeping up some type of appearance. What does this person want? Pluto, ninth house. They want you to change your mind. They want you to start seeing things from a different perspective. They want you to gain more information. Is uh, I'm telling you, like someone knows something. It's like a new thought form. Okay, thought forms. Wow. It's like someone is 
maybe projecting or they want you to see some type of projection. Like, I feel like this person seeing something go down or they're involved in it somehow, but they're kind of, they, they clocked everything because the hangman is watching this group and they're over here saying, okay, this person's like this, this person's like that, that person's doing this. And, and it's like, they, they see, I don't know, something. It's like, you're not evolved, you're evolved, you're not evolved, or something. You need to evolve. Like, I feel like this person's an informant. Yeah, the Five of Swords. This is like... Uh, what's this Five of Swords? They're really upset because they think that... They don't know if they should say something or tell everybody... Because it, someone's reputation will get ruined it already has. It's like a blow to the ego, but also in a group setting. Like it would ruin someone's reputation. So they're sitting here thinking, should I let it go? Let it fly? or Because whoever this is has been sitting back and like taking notes. <laughs> I don't know. With the, for a long time. Like they've been plotting or there's like a, they have enough information to attack or something. What's this right here? What? Damn. Ace of Pentacles. One second. What does this person want with cancer? Like, okay, this person could be, um, damn, they're deciding if they need to go kindly or they need to go aggressively. That's crazy. Someone wants to be a part of the group, but they feel like if they say or do certain things, like it's not smart or it's going to embarrass a person. One second. Hold on. It's like, okay, for example, let's say you're in a relationship. This person may have information that you're um, you're, I don't know, cheating, for example. And it could be vice versa. I don't know. I don't know exactly how this energy is playing out. It just feels like someone is thinking about letting some information fly that they've been collecting. But it's going to ruin someone's reputation. For example, what if this is like the other man or the other woman trying to ruin something too? Like, should I tell them what's in it for me? If uh, like, maybe they didn't know that they were the other man or the other woman, but should I tell them? Cause that there's nothing, nothing to gain for me, but I would be doing, you know, humanity a disservice because I would want to know, like someone's in a very tricky situation. It seems like, so this could be anything. This could be something at work or whatever. Anyway, they're not talking to you. But it's almost like coming in, like saying, hey, by the way, did you know that your husband is gay with me or like your wife is gay with me or um, I don't know. It's an example. <laughs> OK. I don't know. Some type of information. <laughs> OK. What does cancer want with this person? Uh, okay, well, you really just want things to calm down. You don't really care about a situation. You just want somebody to stop being rude or talking crap or causing a ruckus. Like you feel better when someone's away from you. You're not really interested. If somebody wants to come in and be nice and kind to you or be romantic towards you, you're open to that, but you're not, you're not interested otherwise. 
You don't you don't look interested to deal with this person. Wait, what's the person want with cancer again? Four of swords, eight of wands. See? Damn. What is this information? Okay, well. There's going to be some waiting here, and then eventually there will be some type of an offer. Okay, this dynamic is going to change. This is bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. All right. I don't like everybody's fighting or something. Or your workplace, everybody's up in arms. Yeah, people are acting strange and... Because you're sitting here looking at your phone like, what the hell did you just say to me? You know? <laughs> Can I get a... <laughs> or your device or whatever. you messaging them on their computer. Like, oh, excuse me? You like get this weird email about someone else too. I was like, oh my God, they did that? What? Something about stir fry. Okay. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. <laughs> Believe in the impossible. That's what. Okay, so this um, blue moon type energy is coming in. Some strange information is coming in. Expect powerful change. Yeah. What's a good energy for um, cancer to focus on? It's like, uh, how do I say this? Uh, maybe something that somebody didn't want to confess to you just yet or confess at all and it's going to happen it's about how they feel or what they want or you're going to find out you know what's going on with several people okay their allegiance or their allies so be bold to make the first move just flew out okay cool oh what the heck it's time to release negativity yeah i would say so full moon and scorpio <laughs> Okay, two water moons, two full moons, and a blue moon. Very strange is what this is giving. Kind of like very unexpected to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's a good energy for Cancer to focus on regarding this? You're very close to achieving your goal. Expect powerful change. Adjustments are required. Yeah, so I feel like the balance energy is what's coming in very strongly. Hmm. What is this goal? Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Wow, that looks really good. Okay, yeah, there's your balance, practicality, and spirituality here. So this five of pentacles person, you're going to heal from this. You're healing from a situation where you ghosted somebody or they ghosted you. Somebody's acting strange. Um, we talked about this. So there's something about you getting your confidence in check, moving forward, and making peace with that. I see you doing that. So death card. Yeah, you're ending some sort of baggage, burdens, animosity. It's been going on for a long time. You're opting out, and there's going to be peace restored. Is this earth sign person or this water sign? Whatever's going to change in your mind about the way that someone is, um, someone's going to have to recuperate from that. But, I mean, what are you going to do? It looks like some type of truth about a person is coming toward you. Wow. Five of Swords. There it is again. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's like a cleanup crew or someone has to clean up this mess or make it look nice again or <laughs> something like that. Like someone may have to go into hiding for a little bit and then they come back out. I don't know. It's like, let, let that die down. 
you know how like social media will say something and then people just disappear for a while. They come back and it's brand new. (laughs) That's what this feels like. I don't know, man. Okay. All right. Thank you, Cancer. Feel free to check your other placements. I'll see you next time.